Hello, my name is Whip Cram, and I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Photoshop to create a digital landscape painting just like this awesome beast here. Alrighty then, let's get started, shall we? We need a new document. We're going to go File, New. We're going to make it 210 millimeters by 120 millimeters high. 200 pixels per inch, white background. Let's get started. It looks something like that. Now we're going to be using a brush. Shortcut for brush is B. You hit B, you got your brush. We're going to go down here. We're going to start with a sunset color, a nice orange. So I'm going to click down to here. We're just going to make our way down, making darker and darker. We're going to start somewhere nice and bright. Click on that. I'm going to give myself a large brush. I'm just going to choose this one here. First one. I'm going to paint across here. You can see it's going to take a very long time. So I'm going to use the close bracket. Hitting that there. And I'm just going to cover the sky up. It's going to be my background sky. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click back in my color and make it a little bit darker. Just using my airbrush up the top there, giving it a slight veneer effect. Right, it's done. That's my sky. I need to create a new layer down here. Second from the end on the right is the new layer. I'm going to type in mountains. Mountains is a tricky word. I'm going to just type in mounts. Right, let's get into it. Make sure I'm on this layer. Making sure I'm back on my brush again. I'm on my brush. And I want to go to a darker color. Slightly darker. Now, you can see my brush is very large. I'm going to make it smaller, but I'm going to change it. Mountains do not look like that. No siree. They do not look like bouncing boobs either. No. I'm going to right click. There's a brush down here at 44. It's actually a chalk pastel. We're going to use that. And we're just going to draw across from one side to the other. Once again, mountains do not look like shark's teeth. They just tend to be quite gentle, pointy slopes. And they are, make sure they are irregular. By that I mean there's a bit of variance in the style and the way they all look. I'm going to chop and change a few things there. We can tweak it as we go. Bit of variation in there. That's looking fine. This bit there, I might just fix that right. You can see it's going to take ages to color in. It's going to take me a very long time. I haven't got time for that. Once again, I'll use my button, my close bracket, and you can see it enlarges it very largely, very largely, super large, mega large. All I need to do now is just fill that in, make sure I'm in the right layer, which is my mountain layer. Going down a little bit, I'm going to cover that up pretty soon. That's looking mighty fine. I want to create a new layer, I'm going to call this one Hills. Double click that. Hills is a lot easier to spell than mountains, right? I'm going back in here, I'm going to choose a darker color. Going down a little bit more with that. Whoa, oh, it's a lot quicker, isn't it? Still keeping some random, sort of roundish kind of shapes. I'm going to go right down to the bottom this time, though. That's all I thought, well, that was quick. Let's do another one. I'm going to call this one Foot Hills. Double click onto this. Foot Hills. Now, Foot Hills doesn't mean I'm going to be drawing feet in there. Ho, huh, huh. ho. That's a funny one. No, sorry. I'm going to make it dark again. We're just going to paint in here. Some Foot Hills. There we go. So there we have it across there. Now, I'm looking at this thinking. There's a lot of gaps here, big large gap. I might just fix that. I can go V, which means I can just click on these layers and I can shuffle them around a little bit, just like that. How convenient, right? Here we go. We're gonna just about finish now. Got a few more things to do. Create a new layer. I'm gonna call this one trees. Now this people say, why do you why do you draw like this? It reminds me of a special place. And I said, yes, it does. This is actually from New Zealand. I was in New Zealand working with Peter Jackson on uh, his Hobbit movie and uh, the scenery is very much like this beautiful scenery. Right, I'm going to create some trees with my brush again. I'm going to right click. I'm going to do it over here. Right click. I'm going to go down here. This one that says 100. <clears throat> there we go there. Now, I'm just going to, on my layer, which is trees, 
It's not. You're not going to draw a tree like that. Some people can. And I'm not going to. Don't want you to do it. It's just a matter of just a few little smudgy spots like this. It doesn't have to be too exact. And I'm starting quite small. I'm using about 100 pixels for this one. But just to spice it up in some variation, I'm going to my bracket, close bracket, and I'm, you can see I'm just giving myself some larger variations on that. So it gives the impression of it being much closer. I'm just going to reduce that a little bit more. Don't have to be too exact. There, there's some trees. How about a house? Now, a house is a little bit trickier. I'm going to use my marquee tool and I'm going to draw a house up in the sky. Now, that sounds really crazy, but it, it'll work. I'm just going to hold my shift, give myself another piece of that house. I'm going to give it a roof. Now, I'm going to fix that roof in a second as well, but just in the meantime, I'm going to give myself a shape. Kind of like that. I'm just going to hit B for brush. I'm just going to fill that in like so. Now I'm going to go back to my lasso tool and I'm going to go for Mac Shift and Option. I'm just going to go create a shape and I'm just going to close it up like that. Relatively easy to do, looks quite smart. I'm going to hit my V because I want to move things. I can shift that right down to that now. It's going to look good. You can see I lose everything else. I'm actually going to go M for marquee. Hit V again, it's going to allow me to shift it. I'm also going to go. Control T on a Windows or a Command T and on a Mac and I'm just going to resize it. Now I don't want it to be too obvious so I'm going to keep it quite small. I just leave it down there like that, that's fine. Right, Control D which is going to deselect things. I'm going to create a new layer and call this one Grass. Let's see now, Grass. That's looking fine. We're almost done now. So what I need to do, we're going to create some grass. This one using the brush, brush again, before for brush. There is a brush in the system already. Now with the brush, you need to be aware that the background and the foreground color works together. I'm going to keep that brush quite small at the start. And you can see, keeping the brush small, keeping it quite quick, just brushing in some areas there. Now, down the bottom here, I want to fill that in. I'm going to just shuffle that again. I'm going to go a little bit darker this time. And I'm going to start to enlarge my brush. Now, I'll make sure that I'm filling it in. You can see I've enlarged my brush a little bit. Getting a little bit of depth just there. It's important to make sure you do fill in the bottom there. I don't want to see any of the light color coming through. It's starting to take shape. Just going to go X again, which brings this one to the front. Click on that. I'm going to go a little bit darker. This time, I'm going to make my brush a lot larger. I'm just going to bring that through again, like so. I'm going to make it a lot larger. Do a few this size. There we go. That's really it. It's looking pretty smart. Now, I just want to just duplicate all these. I'm holding Shift, selecting them all, bring them down to here. Duplicates them all. I'm going to emerge them. Control E, Command E comes together there like that. It gives me a whole file to use. I'm going to go filter. I'm going to give myself a lens filter under render, lens filter. I'm going to create a sunspot. Make sure that sunspot is above the mountains because the mountains, that's where the sun lives. Going to go okay. There we are. Look at that. Going right through very nicely. I'm going to just duplicate that layer. So I've got a sunset layer. Using control U or command U I can also adjust the hue. We'll see how it looks as a bright blue sky. I've also got every color of the rainbow here. Let's take it across to blue. See how that looks now. There we go. Finished. We've got a nice blue sky, a monochromatic a landscape there, and we've also got a nice sunset one. Fine. It looks mighty fine. That's how you do it. Hey, good luck. Let me know how you get on.